Welcome to Projects for All. My name is Mike, and today, today I have the Delta 36725 T2, and behind me here is the Rigid R4560 table saws. These are essentially the same thing. Both of them are the same in that the blade is not parallel to the miter slot. This one, because of five years of hard use, when I took this out of the box five years ago or so, this was calibrated correct from the factory. The rigid is not straight out of the box. This one has never been used, never cut anything. So I found some minor differences putting the rigid together from the Delta, but essentially they are the same thing. I'm assuming the adjustment's going to be exactly the same for both, but I'm going to adjust them both at the same time and show you both. If there's differences, I'm gonna show it to you. Now, this may or may not be the rigid, in, the rigid instructions for doing this procedure. It took me a week and a half to two weeks of emailing to get this. Uh, half of that was my fault in being slow in emailing, and I think the guy at Rigid who emailed me this uh, is just as slow as I am, so no fault on his part for that. Here's the thing, though. Alignment of blade to miter slot instructions. I'm gonna read you what's on the front here. It says, this document is for the designated recipient only and may contain privileged, proprietary, or otherwise private information. If you receive it in error, please notify the sender immediately and delete the original. Any other use of this document by you is prohibited. Prohibited. I don't want to talk to the stupid lawyer who put that on the front of those instructions, we are not going to use Rigid's instructions to adjust these two saws. I will figure it out for myself. I'm gonna show you the baseline, where we're at with both saws first, and then we'll do the adjustment and we'll check them at the end. So for all of the measurements, we're using the master plate, calibrated alignment plate, and we're gonna use Woodpecker's original saw gauge. Been using this since the beginning, this is excellent. I trust the readings that come for both of these. So this is the rigid. Let's get in here and see out of the box how cockeyed this guy was. We have it set to zero. Out of the box, about 32 thou. Here is the delta, set up exactly the same way. We're at zero. We're off by about 12 thou on this one. Back to zero. Now, keep in mind, this was straight. I don't remember how close it was. And I didn't have, when I put this together, didn't have such a good way to, to measure this. But this was essentially straight, as best I could tell, out of the box. Uh, now we're about 12 thou off. And that is from five years of getting moved. This went through a, a move from one house to the next. It also has cut, <laughs> I don't know how many thousands of board feet have gone through this thing, but... I'm gonna tell you, it's a lot. Yes, I know the condition of this table is starting to become a problem and I'm not proud of it. And yeah, there's a bunch of screws under here and it's a lot of them are uh, low clearance or hard to get to. We're gonna start with this right here. This is a little quarter inch ratchet bit set. There's an extension, you can put a, uh, there's a, quarter inch socket adapter. So we're gonna start with this. Possibly that might be helpful. We obviously have a screwdriver. It's all up under here and it's really gonna be difficult for me to show you. So eventually we'll have to get, I think a 3 16 Allen. We're gonna need that too. There's two bolts after we get the rest of this off, but come on in here. Let's start with this one. So we have our dust port right here. There is a little Phillips head screw right there. That's our first uh, first fastener we got to get off to get this out of the way, and it looks to be the same on both saws. It's going to be uh, probably the worst filmed video I've made just because it's going to be pretty hard. Oh, nope, yeah, it just pivots down. It's going to be kind of hard for me to show you up, up in here, but we're going to do our best here. So next up, we got to get... Uh, this fabric dust shield out of here. There are four screws in this. There's one right there, one right here. This is just kind of folded around itself. And then there's a couple back up in here. We're gonna have to get all those out of there. Let's see if we can't film that while we do it. Let's see how it plays out. 
I got three screws out of this thing so far. You can see the hole here. That was for a screw, a little screw that was in here. They're all Phillips. There was one at the top of this. I can feel a little divot. It was right there on the top here. And then there was one on the front side here, down on this thing that was holding this cover. So once I have this off, I get those three screws out. Now I can see these two Allen screws here. And I do believe that's gonna allow us to, to pivot this whole motor assembly. So let me loosen these up and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna show you the view up top on the gauge, but what I'm doing under here is pulling this from back here and pushing this motor housing. Now that I have those two bolts loosened up, I'm able to pivot this. I have the gauge set to zero. I'm gonna pull it back. Remember this one was off by 33 thou and we're a little better. I've been fiddling with it, but so keep in mind, this is the back of the saw, that's the front. And I'm gonna reach under here and pull that motor. Actually, I'm gonna pull it towards me until we get to zero. See if we can't get to stay there. Let me show you, I'll pull it and I'm gonna hold it around zero and I'll push this back. I'm still holding the back of this and it's zero. And it's still zero here. So let me hold it at zero and then try and tighten those two bolts down underneath while it's sitting at zero and we'll see if it stays there. Let's see what happens. All right, that's what we're gonna do. I have the ratchet on here, the bolt's almost tight. And let me pull it to zero. Oh, geez, it's so hard to see. And I'll tighten the bottom bolt down and see if that'll make it stay. All right, there's zero. Well, it's off by about five thou. I can still pull it. About five thou off. We're sitting at like two thou right there. We're about... What is that for? We're about six thou off now. Six thou front to back. From 33 to six, I can totally live with that. That's good enough. So that wasn't that bad. I'm not sure why they made such a fuss about this. That's not bad. I've tightened the other one. We'll put those two screws in. Let's do the Delta and see if it's the same. I'm sure it's the same. Set it to zero. Oh wow, it got better. Once I tightened the, uh, the top bolt down, it actually got better. Can't see where the end is. We're off by about 3,000 now. 30,000th improvement in no time at all. Not bad. All right, so this one's exactly the same, really. Falls out of the way. This one's just gonna have more sawdust. So same screws, you got one here, you got one there, and I'm pretty sure, yep, we're one right there. So we'll do these three screws and then those two Allen bolts will be back up here. And this will be exactly the same story. You're definitely gonna need some kind of specialty tool to get back up on this one. Just that little, just that little tiny screw up, up in there. This is the easiest thing I've found to get it off so far. So, yep, I'll bet you, let's see if our Allen bolts are there. Yeah, of course they are. Full of sawdust. Harder to see than the other one, but yep, right there and there. All right, so believe it or not, here's zero. We've already improved. <laughs> just by loosening the bolts because we were 12 thou now we're like eight So let's reach under there. I'll reach under there and pull that motor housing let's see There's zero so I haven't even tightened those two bolts down yet But I gave it a good push on that motor and this one stayed where the other one I had to push it hold it and tighten it Oh 
Look at that. Perfect. This is so simple and easy. It pains me that this isn't in the owner's manual. Why would they not do that? It's ridiculous. What do you think? Well, there you have it. Did this really even need to be its own video? It did not. <laughs> this is super simple. The only reason we had to do this separately is because we had to wait for the procedure to find out what to do because Delta and in turn Rigid refused to put this in the owner's manual and treat it like it's some kind of secret procedure. Uh, this is probably the only specialty tool you're gonna need. I recommend you go buy this anyway. This is Icon, I think I paid 30 or 40 bucks for it. And you can use this for getting the little set screws out of faucets. It's, it's super useful for all kinds of stuff around the house. Go buy one of these sets. Otherwise, Next time I do this, it's going to take me five minutes. It's super simple. So I hope this helped you. If you liked the video, hit like. We appreciate it down here. It keeps the lights on. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.